Hey everyone, it's your boy Jay on the street, not your average consumer, and I ended up buying the Nintendo Switch today. I'll give a full review on this system along with all of the accessories and games I ended up buying for this system. And by the way, if you guys like this 8-bit art that I have on the system, uh, it's just decals. I picked up quite a bit, even this original Mario one right here. It's pretty cool. It's from the shop called Lay 8-Bit. Just stay through the video and I'll show you where I got them. And maybe I'll even do a little giveaway if you comment below. Just let me know if you guys like these stickers or not. When I was researching the Switch, I was wondering what came in the box. What did I have to buy extra? Any accessories? Did I have to buy a rechargeable station for the controllers or any extra cables? Because this portable Switch game system costs quite a bit of money. Did I need an extra memory card? Because now Nintendo allows you to download games directly onto the system and play it right away. Well for $300 this is what came in the box for me. This right here is the docking system. When docked inside this allows me to play all my games directly onto my TV. It comes with two wireless controllers. Right here you can snap it on and off really easily. When the controllers are connected to the Switch and docked, it will recharge the controllers. It also comes with this gamepad. You can connect the controllers to it and hold it like a real controller. This is the older version of the gamepad by the way. There's a newer version with a USB connector at the bottom which allows you to recharge the controllers. Two controller wrist guards, a regular HDMI cable, it's about 3 feet long, and the power supply which uses a USB-C. The system has an internal 25 gigabytes of space and it's suggested to buy an SD card with more memory. I'm thinking 64 gigabytes or 128 gigabytes. Here's one of the video game cartridges. This is how small it looks like. All right, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you how much disk space it takes to install one game compared to downloading an online game. How much space it will take out of our 25 gigabytes of space that we have internally for the system. And that will let you determine whether you'll need to buy an SD card or not. And right now I'm gonna install this ARMS boxing game. It's a pretty fun game by the way. So I'm hoping this game isn't going to take up too much space since I have the hard copy of it. But let's see how much space it takes. All right, uh, right here it's saying it's taking seven minutes to install, so I'll be right back. And here it is, I now have 25.1 gigabyte of space after installing ARMS. So that wasn't too much, under a gigabyte of space to install this game. So now I'm going to purchase an online game and install this and see how much space it takes. And I guess I'll choose Rocket League right here. Um, I also have this game on my PS4, I like it a lot. So it's a good game to buy, it's only 20 bucks. So this one is going to take about 45 minutes to download and install. Okay, it's done. So let's see how much space it took. And what do you guys think? We had 25 gigabytes left. And right here, it took about 5 gigabytes to install this game. We're down to 20.2 gigabytes. So yeah, if you're going to download and install a lot of online games, I would suggest buying an SD card. I'll put in the description some info on the SD card to buy because you have to buy a pretty fast um, SD card and you shouldn't have to spend too much for like the greatest SD card uh, as it taps out at a certain speed. So look in the description, I'll give you a couple of them, 64 gigabytes up to 128 gigabytes. Alright, so the question is, what do I think of this system? How is the gameplay? How do the controllers feel? Well, right here, I'm going to play ARMS, and this is a motion controller. And I have to say, it's pretty responsive. And you know, it's giving my fat ass another reason to work out right here. I can see this being pretty fun in a party setting or playing with your family. And you know, after a while, I just found myself punching, just having fun. But it's a pretty fun game and I love how the controller reacts to it. I can see a lot of cool games coming out of this. Here are a couple of important functions that I thought everyone should know on using the Switch. Well aside from changing the theme color that everyone knows from the settings, right here you can tap on the battery and it'll show you the percentage. And it goes away after a couple of seconds. But you can also turn this on in the settings. Right here if you hold the home button, a new menu will come up. And this will allow you to put it into sleep mode. Or if you want to power off the system, it took me a while to figure this out. There's a power button right on top right here. So you hold that down for a couple of seconds. And then another menu will come up. And now you can either put it in sleep or power it off. And remember this is a touch console as well. So you can use your fingers to touch anything on the screen. Even allows you to scroll with your fingers. Alright guys, I hope you liked this video. And if you like these decals right here, you'll see it's from Lay 8-Bit. You can search them on Amazon or online anywhere. And they're really cool decals made of uh, really good quality. The color and details on it is really amazing. They're all 8-bit characters and I grabbed a bunch of them from this shop. Really cool decals, really good quality. 
Thanks for watching, and if you want to see more of these videos, please like and subscribe. Peace.